Hi, Devin. It's David at Discount Forklift here. I'm standing with your beautiful 8,500 pound GM compliant lith lithium ion powered lift hero forklift. Her name is Cynthia. She's got a name tag on both sides there. She appreciates it if you address her by name. Um, speaking of stickers, there is also a service sticker here. She's just been serviced by Anthony. There's a sticker on both sides of the mast there so you know when the last service was. Before I get too far into that, I want to show you this forklift maintenance guide I'm going to send along. It's a real nice guide here that has tons of tips in here. Um, not all of them are applicable because some of them are about the engine and stuff. Don't worry about that. There's still plenty of good stuff in here. Um, probably the most valuable thing is back behind this tab here. There's these checkoffs sheets. You got your daily checkoff. You got your weekly checkoff. You got your monthly checkoff where you can uh, go through and do all your uh, reports, check off, keep track of your maintenance and everything. I suggest you just uh, photocopy those, leave the originals in the book. That way you've always got them uh, to make copies out of. I'm gonna put that in this nice little tote bag here um, to send with you. And also in here, I've got a hat. This is an Octane forklift hat. Another brand of forklift that we represent, great forklifts. And here is also a t-shirt. This is the evolution of lifting here, if you will. Here's the, the front and the back. Put that in there for you as well. Let's uh, talk about the forklift here. Love these forklifts. Um, the forks we've painted safety um, red with yellow tips on them for your safety and convenience. Especially nice if you're out at dusk running across the parking lot or maybe a dark part, part of the uh, service bays or whatever. You can keep track of where the forks are. Be careful these 72 inch forks. They are longer than normal. Don't want to damage anything. Um, also on the forklift here, you've got your normal controls, but there's three things that you have to do. We talked about safety, seat belt. Please wear your seat belt at all times when you're on there. The seat belt is one of three things you got to have uh, completely uh, fastened in order to do this or operational. Seat belt fastened, parking brake on, and transmission in neutral. So real simple transmission, I mean uh, parking brake here. Obviously transmission up for forward, uh, middle for neutral, down for reverse. You get your lights and your uh, blinkers here. You've got the four normal levers here. Here's your up down, here's your tilt, here's your side shift, here's your fork positioner. We'll run through those here real quick. Let me show you what you can do. Just like most electric forklifts, when you start this, you know, obviously it doesn't grind. Just turn it on, wait just a minute. It's gonna go through its internal checks and you'll be good to go there. love this forklift. It's so peppy. It's got the pep you need to do it. Very maneuverable. Again, she's so quiet. You can tell I'm just talking in normal conversational tones here while I'm on the forklift. Do watch the back as well as the front. Obviously this has a bigger back end to it with the 8,500 pound capacity. Most people are used to smaller forklifts and uh, you do want to be aware of that when you're when you're running it. Don't uh, swing into something here. Let me show you here real quick here. Here, squirt around here. Let's take the mast up. Here's your fork positioner. Guys, 
I think this forklift will be great for you. Make your back a lot easier if you're doing those batteries and such not. Let me show you right here is the GM compliance sticker right here on the dash. And then here's your serial number on the, the uh, firewall here. Thanks guys. We appreciate your support in our business so we can appreciate uh, so we can support businesses like yours. Thanks for your business.